Hey everyone, welcome back. Hi everybody, welcome. Hey everyone, welcome. <laughs> hey everyone. Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so welcome back. It's me, Drew, and we are having a fun day of shopping today, you guys. I am at Target and I actually just came here to pick up a couple of items, but on the way I was like, I'm gonna post a poll and see if you guys would like to see a shop with me because I recently saw that Studio Mickey actually came out with their new video showcasing their new line at Target and the pieces looked so incredible. So I'm heading into Target today. We are gonna be doing a little shop with me, which I do these for Ikea every now and then, which if you guys haven't seen those, definitely check them out on my channel. I actually kind of want to create a playlist for shop with me style videos that I could put like flea market videos and you know thrifting adventures and shop with me at Target and Ikea and all these different places but I love these videos because you can literally enjoy looking at items in the comfort of your own home you don't have to go out to Target and do any work at all so all the items in today's video I will also be linking of course in the description box below if you guys would like to pick up anything I share we're gonna head inside I'm gonna film everything while everyone watches me at Target film and then I'm gonna edit it together for you to watch so let's go in and get started. You are usually always greeted by the dollar bullseye playground section when you walk in. So the first items I came across were these hanging plant kits, which were really cute. For only $3, they had a rounded one in more of a pot shape, but I thought the $3 price point was pretty good. Then I saw these kind of woven ceramic pieces, and I loved the footed legs on this one, so I actually picked this up and styled it on my coffee table. I do think, though, I would change the rattan, because it's kind of plasticky. I would change it to black. I think it would look a lot nicer in this pot. I then came across these cute glass votives. You get a set of three for $3, and I love the different designs in each. And by the way, guys, I'm only sharing with you items I would personally pick up in this section, so there's a lot more, but I'm just kind of pointing out the ones I love, such as this jar here for $3 as well. I then absolutely was obsessed with these easels. I picked up seven of them because they were $5 each, but you guys, they are so cute to style like in shelving. I actually added one to my dining space with a little vintage art on the inside, and I'm obsessed with it. I do think I'd stain it a bit darker though, but I love the base of these wooden easels. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd remember this DIY here, but Target actually has a version to purchase for only $5 in store. They have these drawer bin organizers as well, which I think would be great for like craft storage or maybe like a desk drawer or something like that. And then these little shelf decor pieces I thought were really cute. I actually really liked this pinwheel style one as opposed to the rainbow. I wanna figure out something to do with those. And these cute little risers are perfect plant stands or you can just use them to really like elevate a candle or whatever you just wanna rise up on a surface. They had a bunch of cute little tea towels. I just wanted to kind of pan across these to share with you guys. They had little sayings on them. Then we made our way into the Threshold Studio Mickey section, which is my favorite spot at Target. You guys probably all know why. The decor is really, really great. And we started off with the pillow section. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you're anything like me, the throw pillow section is like a magnet when you go in Target. I am always attracted to that section. I have to check it out every single time. They have the cutest throw pillows at the best price points. I loved these pinky mauve tones. I think they're perfect for summer. Studio McGee does a great job at really coordinating their colors and making sure they mesh well, so anything you pick from their collection really goes hand in hand. I ended up actually getting the pink pillow for my sofa, and I love it. I love the chunkier kind of wool fringe on the edge. These daintier floral prints I have been loving. I feel like they pull in a little of a cottagey vibe, but I feel like that just meshes so nicely with the rest of their range, so I absolutely adore those prints. I love these two pillows as well. I had to pick up the green one. I actually got two of them for the chairs in my room, and then you saw that white woven one on my couch with the pink one that I got as well. We have some more warm tones, perfect for summertime. This simple pillow just has some orange details on it, some rusty tones, which I love. And this pillow here was also super cute. It had like a window pane detail and just these little floral motifs in each little section been a huge fan of plaid lately and there were a couple of plaid throw pillows but nothing that really fit the color palette I was going for. Here are some more lumbars in that kind of mauve tone and these ones are super simple but I loved the like kind of delicate lace on the edge of this one. Then we have some throw blankets. There was a green throw blanket and this actually comes in a camel tone but my personal target didn't have it but it has flecks of like other colors in it which I think is such a pretty element. Then there's this more gauzy style throw from this collection that is pretty simple but it has 
has a striped detail on the back and then kind of a tasseled edge on the ends. Moving on into some of the vases and vessels from this collection, there's a mixture of spring and summer in here, but I have loved these. They're very like sandstone vibes and they're super sculptural as well, so I think Target did a great job at those. These planters too, with the little handles on the edges, are so cute for a plant maybe in the kitchen. And these woven rattan style vases have been around since their spring collection, but I absolutely love them. They are so cute and they're here for summer as well. I actually used them in a kid space I did for my friend Chrisella a while back. I never ended up sharing this space with you guys, but I did also get one for my own space because I think this is just such an adorable summery vase. These woven totes are also like the perfect summer tote if you want to just bring this to the beach with you with some blankets. I think the kind of simple reading detail in the middle is so pretty with the stripes. And then we made our way into some of the more decor style elements for this collection, including this beautiful vase, which you guys know I had to grab. I always feel like these structural decor elements are overlooked, but I love this one so much, especially the purple tone in the veining of the marble. And they even did a simple little chain decor accessory as well. Making our way over to this section, there are a couple of lamps, some bowls, and some vases and vessels. Now, some of these are from their spring collection, like I believe this one, or they might have done a little bit of a color rework on it, but I do think the color is great. And it has like a mixture of a sandy and gloss finish. And then this ceramic bowl here, I think would be perfect on like a breakfast nook table or in the kitchen to hold some fruit. Now I've seen these two lamps at Target for a while now, but the left ceramic one is unreal, you guys. Like it is such a pretty lamp. It's very Studio McGee kind of classic and the right one with the rattan shade is just such a perfect little summary. I feel like it's like a guest room lamp. Like it's a perfect lamp for a guest room. I saw these cute little faux plants, which are actually faux herbs and they have a couple different styles, but I really loved the distressed vases that they came in or little pots that they came in. I think these would be so cute on like a window seal in a kitchen. And of course, the Burlwood pieces. If you guys have not seen these Burlwood console and side table, they are stunning. So beautiful for Target. The Burlwood is amazing. It's such a great finish and look. Absolutely love these. And then I came across a few new wreaths from the collection. This one has a mixture of leaves, a couple of lemons, and I think there's some limes in there as well. This wreath here packed a bit more color, but I think it's a perfect wreath transition from summer to fall. You can really get away with it for both. And this one had some clementines and magnolia flowers in it, which just gives a fresh take for summer. And still sticking in the florally area, they have a couple of picks here. These are so pretty. They have these rounded kind of fluffier ball shapes. I don't exactly know what those are. These are some hydrangeas and some of the smaller billy balls, which I actually use these in a recent bathroom makeover and loved them. These palm fronds, normally these are pretty expensive online, so I love that they have a faux version. And they have have some poppies and just some kind of traditional palm leaves. And there were a few new baskets as well. I think the striped one is like a perfect storage basket, but the one underneath is the perfect size to be like a trash can in a little office space or bathroom. And these glass hurricanes, I actually utilized the larger one as a vase in my most or in an upcoming video, you guys, and you are gonna scream when you see how I styled it. It's so cute. This is kind of one of the hero furniture pieces from this collection. I think it is done exceptionally well. It looks extremely expensive for a fraction of that kind of price point. These magazine holders, also so cute. You can probably double them as like firewood holders if you wanted to. I then came across a few of the new wall art pieces, including this large scale cloud print, which is just so pretty. It has a frame on the edge as well. It's like a framed canvas, this double artwork. I love how they sell these in sets of two because it really gives you a custom look in your home. These have some watercolor florals on them. And lastly, this large scale kind of framed beachy grass style photo. Another item I think they've mastered are these little poof style stools. They have such great fabrications of these, such as this striped one here, this other striped one, and this window pane style one, and this boucle style one. So many options and they're all so cute and affordable. Now this item here is giving me complete CB2 vibes because it looks like a carved marble bowl. I mean, that's exactly what it is. And the stone is so pretty. It's a really great entryway bowl. And then these are little kind of like 
I don't know what you'd put in these, but you could put stuff inside of them. They have handles, so cute. And these candles here, I actually utilized one of these in the same bathroom makeover. I utilized those little Billy Ball stems in that I talked about earlier. I love the vintage kind of glass look on these. And these baskets here also so cute. It's such a great take on a classic basket. They have trays, round ones, and then more like large style storage baskets. And of course, we had to check out the hearth and hand section and see what they had new for summertime as well. So I made my way in. I love their little display at all the targets. I saw these dining chairs in the back and I had to share them first because I loved them. I thought they were so cute and upholstered. And these stoneware lanterns were great. I think they're such a pretty color, especially for outdoors. You can just put these on your little outdoor dining table and pop a candle in there. And they also had these vases. They come in a couple different sizes. I just filmed the largest size, but these were very, very nice, like very nice quality. There was a couple new candles that come in these vessels that kind of mimic that vase I actually just shared with you. And they come in more colors than the yellow. They have a green one, a white one. They think they also have a black one as well. And you guys, they have inflatable pools for summer. How cute is this inflatable pool for the outdoors? A little inflatable lounge mat as well for the pool if you already have a pool and don't need an inflatable one, but you could just put this in there. And you know, just finish off your set with this outdoor kite as well. But this grabbed my attention. Like I thought this was such a beautiful cooler. I want it so badly, even though I have no use for a cooler and I've never needed a cooler. I need this cooler in my life. It is a dark green color and kind of transitioning out of those items. We have this really pretty tray here. I love the open open weaving of it and the brass edging. Some of the last couple of pieces from the Hearth and Hand collection are this arch mirror here. I love the smaller profile of it and how the beveled brass frame looks on it. It just looks really expensive. And then lastly, this Bluetooth portable speaker. It looks like a vintage radio. I just, the appearance of it is so cute for your home. The last area I checked out was just the outdoor section and I first came across the lanterns and these metal lanterns here, you guys, are so heavyweight and nice looking. They look like forged metal, honestly, like very restoration hardware vibes. And then I moved a little bit to the right and found these here, which are solar powered chandeliers for your outdoor. They have one from the Jungle Oak collection by Justina Blakenly, and then this more kind of simple rattan style one, which is also really cute. And if you're in need of outdoor throw pillows, definitely check out Target this year. I feel like in the past they have had the best ones but this year I saw so many that I would totally purchase if I had an outdoor area to decorate and then I came across this little ceramic stool which I think would be a cute little plant stand for your outdoor area and if you're somebody to lean a little bit more towards wood they also had this rippled wood stool which again a great plant stand or a stool for the outdoors and they had a couple of poofs I only really liked this leafy kind of print pattern but it was cute here were some of the outdoor planters that they had. I actually loved this terracotta jug style one, but I feel like it needs like a whitewashing or a distressing. And these little people heads were also cute, just having like the hair be the plant. And I also found these black ones, which honestly had like a textured kind of vintage aesthetic to them. And last but not least, if you are in the market for an outdoor rug, Target has 87,000 options. So yeah. And that you guys wraps up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along and shopping with me. I love all of my new items. I got a bunch of new decor, you guys, and it's just, so cute. Target always does such a great job. So if you'd like to see more Shop With Me style videos, or if you want to see like any other stores as well, totally leave comments below. And if you see anyone else post a store that you also like, just give their comment a thumbs up. It really helps me to know what videos you guys would like to see. Again, everything featured in today's video will be linked in the description box below. If you liked anything, you could totally check it out. And I will catch you guys all in my next video, which is going to be a makeover. And you guys are not even ready for this makeover. It's actually already done. I've been waiting to post it. I am so freaked excited, but it's going to be coming out very, very shortly. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel. I love you all so much and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys.